Hello everyone, Step Play 3 here, welcome to FRIBLESS for 7 Days to Die, yeah! Woohoo! Welcome back to some more 7 Days to Die. We are gonna start working on our uh, project funnel system here. I'm just uh, getting some stuff organized up here. Um, let's see. See, look at all the stuff we've got now, guys. We've got a lot of goodies now. Quite excited for all of this. Like the rest of my material, or my paints are locked. Are locked. I need painting wood and roofing one, painting decorations one, painting decorations one. Mason By the way, one. throwing this out there, you can stack coffee and beer for stamina regen. Really? Yeah. I can you make practice targets? Or I can paint them anyway for painting decorations one. So, Brianna, there was, um, did you see that faux, uh, painting book in there for you? Yeah, I already have that. Oh, okay. Yeah, duh. <laughs> well, oh, check out, look at all the engines we have now, and bike tires, and batteries, and we've got so much stuff now. I feel like, oh, wrong chest for that. I feel like we should make a trip to Trader Joel's. Okay. So I can see if he's got any more. I'll take this cash. Because the cash actually sells for a lot Yo. of Duke's Casino tokens. Yeah, we've been getting quite a few thousand Duke's Casino. Seriously? From the cash I've been passing up? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. Don't. Here's some more, babe. It's only nine, but it's just what I had on me. But yeah, no, definitely do not pass up uh, cash. We, you do you have up. any Duke's Casino tokens on you, Brianna? Yeah. Can I have them? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> How many do you have? Um... Almost 1,500. That's where all of our casino tokens went. <laughs> no, yeah. they're mine! That's alright, I got 6,675. So why do you want mine? <laughs> because some of the things that um, you buy are kind of expensive. Well, you could, it would be useful if we could buy forged steel with it too. Yeah, and you can, but it's like crazy expensive. I was able to buy 200 forged steel last time I went there. Um, does anybody need a schematic for sniper rifle? Um, I don't think so. These letters are a horrible idea. I can't paint behind them. So break them, and we'll remake them. Because I'm going to sell these schematics as well. Are you breaking these little posts down, Tyler? Yeah. Are we breaking them down? Why? Yeah. Because they're annoying. They're just there. Like, these poles that are like up against the wall, they're not doing anything. Oh, okay. And you really don't need poles for that balcony either. Really? Yeah, because it's only two blocks out. If it was like three or four blocks out, then yeah, you'd need poles. But with them being so close to the house, you don't need them. Gotcha. Because I think wood has an integrity of like up to four blocks out. Yeah. From whatever is attached to the house or like a structure like a sound structure so i'm using the paint roller so you can like paint a lot at once but it paints everything like even the inside so i'm gonna have to like clean up <laughs> jeez it like splashes around yeah in here like there's like random little blots of like this is a good black it's like dark gray yeah this is what the black should have been not freaking like not oh like you're God. staring into like the deepest part of space like i'm out of paint oh, my hair already. zombies guys like chopping down we got a little a small horde at our southeast gate Can you stop stop it all right so tyler i dug out the rest of that area for the last funnel 
Even a small horde, that's two zombies. No, there's more at the gate. Oh, they're... Ju they jumped over the gate. They boosted. <laughs> they lifted Those each other up. cheaters! Oh. <laughs> Why are you holding an axe like you would a bow? I don't know. That was weird. <sighs> Alright, babe, we need repairs over here, by the way. What the heck? I just repaired all this! <laughs> We're gonna have to repair it again. But see? That's why we have this over here. See how well that worked? These guys are so rude. And it even drags the bodies around when you open and close the doors. Just <laughs> what I wanted. Wait, is it nighttime? Yeah. Yeah, yes, it dang it. I can't even go to Trader Joel's if I wanted to. No, nah, you're gonna have to wait. So, Tyler, do we have yes. the stuff needed to, to finish up this, uh... How? The, uh, I guess the... The last funnel. <clears throat> Our house looks so bad. Oh my god, it's giving me anxiety. Half of it's camo, half of it's dark gray, some of it's pink. <laughs> and yeah, the uh, north side funnel system. I'm making, I'm getting the rebar. I'm just, I have to click and say, I, I'm just clicking for how many rebar I want. So I'm making yeah. like 300. I guess I just type it in. So I'm making 300 rebar right now. So I'm just waiting for that to craft. I've also got some more cement mix being made. Okay. Um, grab some sand, small stone. So, also, concrete. how I'm powering the lights inside the house is I've actually installed the generator up in the roof right here. So this is how everything is being powered. So right now the lights inside the house would have just turned off. So this is kind of how I'm keeping everything uh, powered inside the house. When you eat the beef stew, this is your heart, your soul, the rest of you already feel warmer. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But yeah, so that's kind of how we have things operating. Like I said, we've still got a lot of work to do. we got a lot of cool stuff uh, in the pipeline for getting this house going. It's just a lot of scavenging, which is why we are um, doing what we're doing off camera. It's just, it's been hours and days of scavenging mm -hmm. and crafting and building and just to get things, you know, going. Getting jumped by zombies when I'm not paying attention. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's been pretty great. Brianna, you also probably should start looking into using a gun now. The zombies are getting yeah. very enforced, they're getting stronger, they're coming in bigger waves. I think you're underestimating my bow abilities. And I think you're underestimating the zombies. <laughs> You're you haven't okay. seen some of the new zombies that we're getting. Yeah. Well, at the same time, as long as I hit any zombie in the head, they'll die. Yeah, I don't think oh. so, Brianna. You know what? Nope, Bring it on! There are some zombies that... They take headshots from our sniper rifles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially the, the green cops and the spider zombies and stuff like that. And those that. feral whites that we've been getting. Yeah, yeah. we've been getting white Bring walkers coming from the Great Wall. The radiated... Uh, wow. It's... Uh, I don't even know what to tell you. Whoever keeps unorganizing my freaking medical chest needs to die. It's, um, because you can hit auto-organize. Yeah, what it is. To organize? No, I don't know what you're smart. talking about. Is this organized to you?! But essentially, yeah. guys, unfortunately, all these blade traps, once we get the concrete walls put up, we're going to have to break all these down anyway. This is literally just temporary until we can get um, all the uh, the rebar. Speaking of that, Tyler, do you have any rebar that I can start at least working on? Or I guess you probably want to work on the, uh, the two funnel systems because we've got the east and the north funnel that needs... Uh, the frame builds on, or the frames built. Yeah. Wait, we're still missing a wood Why? Frame. What were you wanting to do? I was just gonna start working on the wall. You know, like, start uh, putting, like, rebar, you know, like... Well, if you want, you can come up here to one of the furnaces and just get a bunch of rebar being made for you, but the rebar I'm having made is so I can finish up the other, uh funnel that's like halfway done oh, okay and then i'm gonna start i'm gonna start tearing down that wood 
funnel and then replace it all with rebar. Rebar frame. I'm just waiting for this one, yeah. So in the right furnace, I can make 1,400 rebars with everything we have in there. Do we want to make all of if those? If you want to make 1,400, yeah, I just kind of make what I need. And then whenever it, I run out, I just come back and make more. Maybe do. But that would probably be good just to be just because of how much concrete and rebar we're going to need for the whole wall and whatnot. Oh, yeah, I forget about the wall. All right. Well, 1,400 rebar is going to take 40 minutes. See, this is exactly what we're minutes. talking about whenever we're doing stuff off camera is because prime example it's going to take a long time to get I'm, just to make by the way just to, to give you guys a general idea to make nine of these gas cans took me an hour just to make nine barrels of gas nine thousand gallons of Ugh. gas an hour to make those Mhm. Mm it's crazy at how long things take to craft in this game now oh we got your water by the way is full babe Oh, okay. I and forgot about that. You might want to split it up and put some of them in the other fireplace, too. I need you to not worry about it, okay? Oh, hey, I have eight more fluorescent lights, Tyler. 17 more electric fence posts. Jeez. 149, 762, and 10 more blade traps in the uh, workbench. Uh, let's see, we've got... We got some more ammo in here. The shotgun shells are almost out. We can make more of those. We've got so much stuff now. Um, let's see. My lighting. I'll keep that on me. Because whenever Tyler starts... Hey, hey, babe, do you have cement? You can start cementing his... Or actually, where's the cement? I'll start doing that, actually, while I'm waiting for rebar. Do we have cement? Yeah, I don't ready? currently have any cement on me, but... It's just I'm a cement mix, cement right? cement being made, yeah. I'm having cement mix being made right now. I've got like 700, 700 of it being made. Um, don't we just need the cement mix and then we just right click and it turns into cement blocks um, with our hammer? Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay. So do you want me to that was, start? That was confusing for a second, but yeah. yeah. Do I? Do you want me to start cementing the uh, the west one that's already all rebarred? Uh, yes. Okay. So I'll start cementing this thing here. I was just going to say, didn't I make a crap ton of coffee? But it looks like I need more. Oh, that's another thing. When we go out scavenging, Brianna, I need you to um, take any coffee beans that you've come across from now on. Yeah. Uh, okay. Because we need it for to make coffee. I'd hope so. Let's see, what else can I sell to Trader Joel's when he opens? As you guys can see, how much concrete is being consumed already. It's 10 concrete. Or 10 cement per concrete block. It's a very expensive, and it's a wet concrete. You guys will see the difference in wet concrete, and then when it dries and hardens. It's actually it... 20 per block, because once you... Actually, no, I take that back. It's not, because it yes. will... it dry. The blocks dry, but if you do like the archways or any other kind of concrete, then it takes two stages. It turns into concrete, and turn it into reinforced concrete. Yeah. But for right now, this is what wet concrete looks like. And then that's what the dry concrete looks like. So you guys can get an idea of what wet and dry look like. So this is obviously wet or dry and reinforced. So we've got a lot of stuff that we're uh, kind of putting together. Luckily, we haven't really been getting any big hordes. Usually when we're out here working, just a random 30 or 40 mob of zombies just will roll in on us and steamroll the place. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> nah. Luckily, we... You haven't experienced, Brianna, what we've experienced the last... Wow, okay. Two or three blood moons. We're traumatized, okay? Things uh... things got... Things got pretty bad. Whatever. 
Like, I don't think you understand. I don't think she understands either. Can I sell some of these pistols? These extra pistols that we have? Because we have, like... Gosh, he, one, two, three... He only buys, four. like, three or four pistols before he doesn't want them anymore, just so you know. If, well, uh, we've got 17 pistols, like, 9 millimeter. Yeah, you can sell them. Um, or scrap them, whatever you want to do. Okay. I need Wait. to clean up everything I've painted. What about hunting rifles? We've got one, two, three, four, five hunting rifles. Um, I keep maybe two and sell the other three. Okay. I'm just trying Why to like one? watch you, Tyler. That way the viewers can kind of see what you're doing when you're building the uh, building this place. Yeah, I'm just I'm trying to look at these other ones just to see how the front is put together, but I think that hmm. oh, let me go check my rebar. That way I can start working on that wall and more concrete. Tyler, did you need this AK-47 schematic? No. Okay. Because I can sell that for almost 300 Duke's Casino tokens. Oh, nice. See, here's some more pistols in this one. We've got one, two, three, four, Close five the door on me, rude. Here. <laughs> sorry. Mm -hmm. He's not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Hey, I'm no mathematician, but since when have we had five bikes? Um, Don't worry about it. <laughs> we made an extra one. <laughs> we actually have a fifth bike um, because uh, Nate's been coming in and helping us out um, scavenging and. Oh, I was like. <laughs> during the week. Why, if you go upstairs, there's a uh, Nate's corner. He built a little bed and a sign and called it Nate's corner. He has helped us tremendously in the scavenging and uh, resupplying. Yeah, he's been doing Good a job, lot Nate. to help us out with getting all of our stuff situated. So, let's see what else can I sell? What about hey, mother, you want to come to uh, Trader Joel's or not? Nah? Yeah. What about animal hides? Do we need animal hides for anything? Yes. What for? Paint and brushes. <laughs> okay, well... Uh, I'm gonna sell 250. We've got another 148 there. Deal. That's uh, 148 paint brushes. Um, let me see. What else can I sell? Can you stop oh, hey, ransacking honey, our chests? <laughs> There was another pair of hazmat pants in one of those chests. Really? Wasn't that what I was missing? Uh huh. Oh, and gloves, Brianna. We found a pair Wait. of gloves, too. Let's try this again! <laughs> Hold on. I'm putting all my stuff back. Hold on. We're trying this. So, this top chest is I'm going to need you guys to move your bikes, by the way. It's right where I'm placing rebar for the concrete wall. Okay. So I'm gonna need everybody's, whoever's bikes. That one's mine, but let me just quickly. Make sure you park them out here though, like along the spikes. Because what'll happen is, is um, if they're inside, you guys won't be able to get them out. So can we get these two bikes over here? I can't. Yep. I am on I can't, my way. I can't move either of these two bikes that are parked in the way here. Where are you at? Over here. Yep, right here. I need these two bikes right here moved. That one's not mine. Um, it's starting to get mine. super hot. Oh, it's Tyler and yours. There you go. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Whatever. 
Now I can commence Gotta my Gotta do work. like a 30 point turn here to get my bike turned that. back around. <laughs> do you want my headlights on so you can see? Alright, look at me guys. Um, Alright, Brianna, give me one second. I'm... Are you in a full hazmat suit now, Brianna? Yep, look. <laughs> you even got we even got you the gloves and the pants now. Ow. All right, go tr go test it out. Do you have did you take everything out of your inventory? Yeah. Just to be safe. Woo! All right, she's off to the radiation zone. Let me know how it works out for you. Well. <laughs> I think I'm with my turn. So there's actually two Trader Joel's along the way that I'm going to hit up. Okay. So I'm going to take a few extra pistols because I can sell some to one guy and some to another. Okay. Okay, there's all that. What else can I sell? So there is the starting part of our wall system over here. Wait, let me come check that really quick because we've, we've also got to make sure we've got an area for the towers as well because we're going to have watchtowers on the edges, remember? Yep, but this is where we're going with it. Wait, is it safe for me to go yet? Uh, it'll turn daytime in like 40 minutes, so yeah, you're good to head out. Uh, no, I'm not. I don't mess around with these zombies. They scare yeah, me. We need to get rid of this sidewalk right yep. here. You can pick up these, uh... They aren't even running. It's because you're on your bike. If you get off your bike, they'll sprint at you. That's scary. They tease you. Take that gas so I can... Fill up my bike. Alright, we're done. Sounds like you're hitting D. bushes to me. Yeah, same. Oh, I can get that. Let's see. Quality Joe. Why can I not buy you? Oh, because my scavenging isn't at 60. You lied to me, he's sprinting at me and I'm on my bike! <laughs> That was freaking terrifying. I'm like up to the radiation zone. I pull up and like three zombies get up and just start sprinting at me. Are we good now? I'm out of rebar frames. Oh, I got some on me. Oh, and I just yes. bought that secret stash skill so I can get better stuff from the traders. Especially that grouchy old man. So how big are you wanting the watchtowers by the way? Because I already know how tall I'm going to want them. I want them to be at least three blocks higher than the wall. Um, essentially, I mean... <laughs> hmm. Because I'm going to make them like a square. So it's probably going to come out from like right here. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six away from the corner. So we go... Yeah, you could probably just go like this. From like right here. I mean, obviously... Yeah, you so can... from here, you can go from here, out, to right about here, and then in. Alright, you guys, moment of truth. Or yeah. we can do it on the outside, to where the the tower is, is like protruding out from the outside. You have entered it. Ah, it still kills me! Holy crap, Brianna. Okay. Well, and you can have it to where it <laughs> comes out this way. I don't think I want to go. it's sticking out, and it actually looks like a tower. I don't know if I'd want to go out that way with it, just because we're, I think, I, I don't know. I think we should stick with it inside, but, so, oh, over here. What's the difference between it being inside and outside, though? Because it's going to interfere with coming out here. We're gonna, we're starting to lose. Well, we're going to tear all this down anyway, so this would be stopping them from getting inside our funnels. Yeah. It um, pretty much said that I mean, I it's going to suck tearing it all so down, though. So We've already did, done it once it before. Does, it doesn't work then, Rihanna. No. Uh, it did take longer to hurt me though, however. And you don't have the little tower things on this little blueprint. Like you do that one. I know. 
Okay. This is the first one. Hey, Trader Joel's isn't open. Well, it's 4 a.m. I think he opens at like 8 a.m. or... He's got <laughs> business. He's got business hours, okay? Listen, this is a zombie apocalypse. You don't have regular business hours. <laughs> Uh, he does. I'm gonna have to break some of these spikes over here to get the wall started over here as well. You gotta keep- you gotta keep something from the old world. Uh, excuse me, grouchy old man in there. I'm crafting oh. 1200 rebar frames, it's gonna take me 17 minutes. What the heck? What? I touched his door and it teleported me. Yeah, it's because you were trying to get inside. I didn't, I didn't even do anything. I just got close to it. Tixie, be yeah. patient. Wait for business hours. I was talking to him. He doesn't want to talk to you this early. Rude. <laughs> just be patient. But at any rate, guys, you guys kind of get a general idea of why we record so much off camera. But you, I just wanted to kind of show you guys a little bit of what we're doing and how things are going to come together over the next, you know, dozen or so videos. So that way when you guys do see this place turn into a concrete fortress, you guys are not asking, well, what the heck? Like, how did that happen? Or how And I guess it's up to you guys to where you guys can kind of say in the comments if you guys are interested in watching the building process, like, step by step, rather than us, like, doing it. I mean, like, like, we'll do stuff off, like, we'll do stuff off camera, but you guys can also let us know if you enjoy watching us build, or if you enjoy watching us scavenge and whatnot, and just kind of, I guess, let us know what you guys enjoy watching, rather than just us doing it off camera and you guys just seeing like an reasons. entire base, yeah, an entire base built before you guys even really get to see the process of how it was done and whatnot. I think that, hey Tyler, can you come to the uh, the west? end of the funnel. I want to make sure that I'm putting in the wall system correctly over here for you. But essentially, like, you guys will just, I think we'll just kind of show bits and pieces of us recording, because this base is going to be an ongoing project for a while. I agree. Alright. So, how does it look? Like, is this uh, correct? Yeah, that's wall? good. It's just, I need to take off this little bit right here, because it's not how the other ones are. You guys, I, have, I have the wall like sticking out one, but it's one one block away from the entrance of the funnel, if that makes any sense. So what it's gonna do is... So is this wall uh, correct right here, or do I need to cut it in? Yeah. Okay. No, it's fine. Okay. I just uh, that's what sure. I was trying to say, was that... I, I'll, take, I'll pick up these frames really quick, but... It's gonna be one block... away from the entrance. Yeah. Like that, so... Okay. Just whenever I made this, I hadn't done that part yet, but now that it's there, you can do that. But you guys kind of get the general idea of what we're doing, so probably by the next video, you guys will see probably the, I would say, the whole structure of the walls will be rebarred. Um, I'd say the funnel systems will be rebarred. Um, and maybe one, two, three of them more being concreted by the time you guys will see us uh, recording this again, because we've got about another week before we start recording this again. But at any rate, guys, we're going to wrap this video up here. We're going to continue to to work on this concrete fortress in hopes that we can start uh, surviving some bigger and longer blood moons. But hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.